trying to work here, dude. You hear that? Rumble in the jungle. You got a guy who can't see out of his car, but dang, it sounds good. Keep her straight. Uh, yep. Hey, that's a cool car. Hey, what are you up to? Hey, Richard, what are you doing out here today? Oh, just uh, putting those nice dyno we got to use. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, springtime here in Michigan. A lot happened to uh, my 2021 ZL1 over the winter. Did some nice stuff to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go ahead and pop the hood and we'll take a look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. see how hood the, fast the hood popped off? That means there's a lot of power fast, under there. Very fast, so ignore all the bug guts and stuff on this. Just drove this car back to and from Nashville to uh, get tuned by my friend Matt Sanford down at Boost Addicts. Great guy there. And uh, yeah, you guys remember when I first got this car, we dyno it here. It made 573 uh, horsepower to the tires, 593 foot pounds of torque, and went to the drag strip went on stock tires i think it was 1120 at 126 actually bone stock with a drag pack so you know slicks whatever uh went 1090 at 127 so that was stock so over the winter mm -hmm. i added a couple goodies to this thing. let's check so, it out uh up top we've got a kong cnc ported supercharger it's their export which is the the big dog there's mm -hmm. been a few guys making a thousand horsepower to the tires on this stock 1.7 liter eaton blower wow um this one's not gonna make that much because it's a pretty simple build. We've got a stock upper and lower pulley on it. Uh, Kong 103 millimeter throttle body, Rotofab Big Gulp intake. Um, big Gulps, dude. Cooks two inch headers. Uh, it's hard to see those headers. I wish we could show them, they're pretty, but I mean, we're not gonna be able to see yeah, them. Yeah, they're, they're just big. Know they're there. Uh, it's got a DSX low side fuel system and their flex fuel sensor. Uh, catch can, Cortez uh, intercooler tank. Pretty simple build. Um, right now it's got about 78% ethanol content in it and uh, we're going to put it on the dyno and see what it makes here. So we dynoed it down at Matt's shop and it made uh, 634 on his Mustang dyno and we're expecting to see a lot more on this one. Mustang dynos typically read lower than the dyno jets and it was a lot hotter that day. The manifold temp was like 160. It's been sitting for a while so it's pretty cool. So I'm hoping I've got a number in mind I'd like to see. I don't know if we're going to see it or not i don't want to jinx myself might have jinxed myself by even thinking about it it's like crab fishing dude you can't say you're going to catch them dude take it easy with the horsepower number that's a good point so all right we're going to strap this thing down and uh first check out this video i did on this kong ported blower like they uh, work with me pretty good on getting this thing set up with that and it's a real real piece of work check that out right now all right here's the zl1 in progress of getting the supercharger ported on this thing so we got it off which was a pretty simple job just a few bolts and came right off a couple coolant lines we had to disconnect for the heat exchanger no big deal there and the supercharger is getting sent off to our friends at kong performance here you can see the stock blower they're gonna take this thing and open it up this thing's getting their export so you'll see all these casting imperfections here. Those suckers are going to be gone. Going to be nice and smooth in there. So, I mean, the export has supported over a 1,000 wheel horsepower on a couple of their customers' cars. So that's going to be plenty for this machine. And in addition to that, I went with Kong Performance because of this super nice pre-packaged box that they send out to their customers if desired. So I'm going to open this thing up. You'll see there's uh, foam in there that's all set up for this supercharger so it makes packaging this thing really nice not going to have to worry about any damage in transit hopefully all right there's the box like i said molded foam so that supercharger is going to fit super snug in there and super good to just drop it in the box worth it in my opinion you know you get around packing peanuts that's annoying you don't want to deal with that this is just a super easy solution so I'm gonna throw this in there, see how it looks, close up the box, and get her sent off to Kong. There, so got the lid right here, gonna slap that on. Boom, just need some tape on the top, and this thing can get headed off to Kong. Two weeks later. All right, about two weeks have passed, and we got the supercharger back from Kong, so I went ahead and uh, pulled open the box. I haven't looked inside just yet, but I got here. This is the. 103 millimeter throttle body. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's uh, let's get 
get to the goods. The good goods. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh, let's see if I can get a decent look inside of this thing and what these guys did here. Yeah, so this looks uh, very nice compared to the stock as cast stuff. You can see in there, it is cleaned up super nice compared to all those factory imperfections that it had. We're still waiting on the pulley to show up from Grip Tech. We're running uh, stock size on this, stock upper and lower for now. And uh, we're doing that so we can run full E85 and we don't need any supplemental fuel like um, meth injection or anything. I do have a meth kit for it, but. Okay, one more thing, just had to show you guys this. This 103 millimeter throttle body from Kong is a beautiful piece. It's a real big dog. And the engraving on the top is a super nice touch. So, all right, now I'm really gonna get this back together. I watched it, that sucker was tight. Yeah, it's amazing what they can do and the power you can make on the stock right. supercharger. So, very cool. Appreciate Kong helping me out on this one. Um, we're not leaning a lot on the supercharger. Like I said, stock, upper and lower pulley. So basically stock, if not a little bit lower boost because we've got headers, makes it more efficient, whatever. But if we wanna lean on this thing by doing upper lower pulley, um, we can, we have the ability to make some big power. But at this point, we're pretty much out of fuel. Fuel system says no more. So Sayonara. that's why we didn't go with any uh, pulley change on this. Mm -hmm. You can go to the pump, be confident. You can just run pump E85. Don't have to worry about blending it or anything. But in the event that uh, you know, I do want to add methanol injection or you know port injection or anything, we could you know, put a smaller pulley down there, bigger lower. We could put some serious boost through the stock lower. She makes some big power. But for comparison's sake, I just want to see what it makes on ours. Like I said, 573, 593 bone stock with these simple mods. See what it makes. There she is. We got her strapped down. Uh, been cooling it down, had the intercooler pump running, fan running, trying to get that uh, manifold temperature down, make a little extra power, keeping her a little cooler. Uh, got HP tuners hooked up, so Matt tuned this with HP tuners. Uh, they have very good software for tuning factory ECU stuff. So we're gonna take a log of this pull, or these pulls that we do, because the ethanol content's a little bit higher than when we had it down at Math Shop. I'm gonna send it off to him, make sure everything looks good. Uh, so I'm going to get it fired up, we'll uh, roll it a little bit, tighten all the straps down, and make a hit on her. Let know? her rip. Make a hit and let her rip. I think it's too good. There we go. Thing is brutal. Yeah, she, uh, she came out pretty hard. Holy it sounded like. <laughs> moly. What a monster. What a monster. I unfortunately can't get out because of <laughs> the way our dyno is set up. Uh, I'm going to have to remain in here. Ooh, nice. Ooh. 60 crack, 60 crack. Wow. 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 175. Shit. Yeah, wow. dude. It's that's almost where the race unit was at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good power. Are you going to tell us the number that you thought or wanted to see? Uh, not, yet, thought, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. After the, the second What's the round. torque? Let's see the torque on that. Number. Let's see the torque, dude. Torque. It's been a while. It's been a while since I got torque on my dynometer. 650, 650 dude. Damn. Damn. Look at how quick it comes on too. Man. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, she's a she's a good runner. I figured based off of uh, you know what Matt's Dino read, I figured it was gonna be around 700 ish. But Dino numbers, they're just numbers at the end of the day. Um, I can tell you just watching that. <laughs> I think you're good, dude. Yeah, she's uh she runs good. We're not focusing on that right now. Christ what are you doing, guys? Dude. So. Uh, you saw the pull we did on this thing. Do you know how mad he would be if we did that when he was filming? Yeah. Exponentially. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> important cars. Uh, 
<laughs> Is that a lease? <laughs> yeah. It's only seventeen ninety nine a month, dude. For forty nine thousand years. <laughs> hey, why don't you run that on the dyno? I'll be Mach four years old by the time I'm done paying that thing off. Yeah, I can't because it's all wheel drive, dude. Oh, yep. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What is <laughs> touch screen Rick? Over I know, here? I'm just bringing my inner kindergarten around with <laughs> tablets. Yeah, he's got his tablet. All right, wow. so good thing we had this logging with HP tuners um, because we found some interesting stuff. So, as I mentioned before, when we were down at Matt's shop dynoing this thing, uh, we had like 67% ethanol content in it, and it seemed like we had enough room uh, injector wise to be able to run. A lot more ethanol than 67 percent mm -hmm. but we started this run with 78 percent and logging it uh we're basically out of injector so uh you can see this injector pulse width average we can pretty much relate that to uh duty cycle so as the pull starts uh you can see it's starting to ramp up and when it hits six uh it's base that's basically 100 percent duty cycle so we're hitting 100 percent duty cycle at 3700 rpm so uh as you can see it's it keeps going up and up and and continues to go up uh until we get out of the throttle so what that means is uh we don't have the fuel system to run uh pretty much any more than the 67 percent ethanol that we started with so Makes sense. Uh, it takes and, more fuel for more ethanol. Yes. So. And it also takes fuel to make power. So uh, by not having the fuel to uh, support what the engine's wanting, uh, we're down quite a bit on power. So I uh, got a hold of Matt, sent him this log. He said go buy some 93, put it in there, and uh, try and bring that ethanol content down and run it again. He thinks it's going to pick up a good amount of power because we'll have the fuel to be able uh, to support that at that point. So. I went ahead and put three gallons of 93 in it. We're at like 65-ish percent ethanol, so we're in pretty good shape. Wow. Oh, the duck over there, jeez. <laughs> Wildlife. Oh, time. man. So we got good ethanol content now. Just letting it cool down, letting the intercooler pump run, and we'll run it again. Let's see some power! The Rick ZL1 made 660 out of fuel system. What will it make now when it still has the proper fuel system? I heard more. Oh, yeah. Here we go, buddy. Ten more pones. Yeah. Hey, you got a few more pones. You know, have to uh, take a look at this and see what it's saying as far as our uh, injector duty cycle. Still, man. Still high. Still a lot of injector, eh? Yeah, that's pretty weird considering it's now left less ethanol content than it was when we initially dynoed it. A few moments later. All right, Rick, what happened, buddy? We got some information here, straight from the man. Yeah, so we picked up nine horsepower on that last run. Uh, peak is the big thing. So nine peak horsepower, but our torque was down 18 foot-pounds of torque, so. Oh, these are the last two uh, runs, yeah, okay. these are the last two runs. So looking at the file, uh, right around 4,400 RPM, uh, we can look at this time. I'm not sure how exactly you would uh, break this down. I'm not sure what the increment is when I click this button, but it's very, it's not a lot of time. So three minutes, 54 uh, seconds or whatever, or no, anyways. Fractions of a second we're looking at here with each 
click of this button, okay? Okay. So we instantly go from 65% ethanol Where content. Where is that at? Where is that at? Right here. Oh, got it. So let me highlight that quick. I see it. 65% in a fraction of a second, it jumps up to 75 uh, percent ethanol content and that's because this is the point when uh, our aux pump we have a low side auxiliary pump to help uh, supply fuel to the high pressure fuel pump that turned on at that point and that line still had the old 78 percent ethanol fuel stored in it Dang so it. the uh, flex fuel sensor seeing this burst of um, you know ethanol and it's not happy about that because we're back to square one where it's pulling fuel out right at the point where we're you know, looking to, to make this big torque number. So it pulled the uh, pulled all the power out of it. I shouldn't say all, but a considerable amount. And by the end of the pull, we can go over here. Uh, ethanol comes. Oh yeah, it keeps going up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, going up. I thought I saw it teeter off before the end of the pull, but yeah, so it's back down to 65%. So it must have used all that stuff in the line. Yeah, so this next pull should be good. We should be clear, we should be running 65%. Um, we've been letting it cool for a little bit. So hopefully we see a little bit more power and uh, that torque number going back up to where it should be. What they say? Let's go! Let's go! Ooh. up another 18 out of nowhere brother holy holy yeah yeah this keeps getting better yeah 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 wow yeah the torque number still isn't up which is kind of weird I want to look this over again and make sure we're still clean on the fuel but power is good we're now over uh, 100 horsepower increase to the wheels over where we started with it stock so no more boost very uh very yeah stock boost level that's nuts even Maybe a little bit lower because it's a more efficient setup with those headers and stuff like that. So, wow, pretty impressive. I'm at the point now where, um, you know, have to mix the fuel already. So I might as well just add meth and pulley this thing. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but Ooh. I'm to that point. I've got the meth kit. I've got the lower already. I didn't put that stuff on because I wanted a more simple turnkey setup, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know if I should put meth on this and pull it and make a lot more power. Everybody's going to say yes, just so you know. Okay. I figured that. I'll pre-answer, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, big uh, big thanks to uh, Kong Performance for getting me set up with this ported blower. Nuts. Um, that's, uh, that's really going to shine when these pulleys inevitably get larger and smaller because there's two of them that we're going to be changing. And uh, my friend for, uh, Matt down at Boost Addicts, you got this thing running really good. Uh, this is a 2021 model, so you can't uh, tune the factory TCM on these. So I purchased a retrofit model um, from, it's called the T87. It's what the 2019s and previous models used. Uh, plug and play deal into this car. Uh, he's got the trans shifting really good. Really excited to run this thing. So not sure when this video is going to come out, but this will be at uh, Cletus and Cars this weekend, Indy. Oh, you're and, taking uh, it. Oh, yeah. Decision has been made. Got to take it. We got to see what it's going to do. Um, it's either going to really re solidify the fact that I want to pulley and put meth on this, or it's just going to solidify it. So, well, I'll see you guys there. That's going to be a cool event. I'll get this out before then, so it makes a lot of sense. All right, that'd be sweet. And yeah, uh, I've got some other automotive stuff that's going to be coming to this channel too. Different car, different creature, whole different thing. Like, You've seen the cars before, though. You've it. seen a lot of these cars. We've been involved with these cars for years at this point, but it's a, it's a creature. Matt, what do you think about that other car? Uh, it's a creature. That's funny. 
no other way to put it. Sums it up. Critter. She's a creature critter. All right. Yeah, well, see you guys on the big end, and uh, let me know what you think. Guess that car, guess that creature car, and uh, let me know if we should tune this thing way up. We'll see you next time. All right, see you, Rick. See you, Matt. See you. See you, Frankie. Bye.